Good day everyone. Again, welcome to International Conference and Demo Teaching Festival in Nepal with the theme, Learn to Teach, Teach to Learn. I hope and I know that you still wanted to learn more something new. My name is Ryan F. Jimenez, a senior high school teacher to Obani is Integrated School at SD1 Pangasinan. Today, my topic is all about the use of Kahoot learning platform as a type of formative assessment. To start with, let us recall the types or purposes of assessment. We have here the three common types or the purposes of assessment. Number one, we have diagnostic assessment. The purpose of this assessment is to assess a student's strengths, weaknesses, knowledge, and skills prior to instruction. Number two, we have formative assessment. The purpose of this assessment is to assess a student's performance during instruction and usually occurs regularly throughout the instruction process. Number three, we have summative assessment. The purpose of this assessment is to measure a student achievement at the end of instruction. In short, diagnostic assessment is before the lesson. Formative assessment is during the lesson, while summative assessment is at the end of the lesson. We have here an additional definition of formative assessment, which is what I want to highlight with my topic. Formative assessment is a process of evaluating the student's knowledge as they learn. It is a method of ongoing assessment and it involves putting together a series of quick fire questions and exercises to help you monitor the learner's progress during the class. Always remember that the formative assessment should be done right after or during the discussion of the lesson to assess what is learned by the learners at that moment. It will also help you to decide if you are going to reteach the lesson or to proceed with the next topic. So these are the common formative assessment we use oftentimes. Recitation, we ask our students an open-ended questions. Group activity, which is my, fav my favorite part when I was also a student. Bird work or bird activities. If you are a math teacher, it's one of the most effective. It should not be missed. We can also have a poll survey. Who is who among the majority? Lastly, online learning platforms like Kahoot. But what is an online learning platform? An online learning platform is a web space or portal for educational content and resources that offers a student everything they need in one place. Lectures, resources, opportunities to meet and chat with other students, and more. It is also an excellent way for the student and the teacher to monitor student progress. Importance of online learning platform. Online learning platform enables the teacher and the student to set their own learning pace. And there is the added flexibility of setting a schedule that fits everyone's agenda. As a result, using an online educational platform allows for a better balance of work and studies. There are many learning platforms, but Kahoot is one of the most interactive and mind catcher game-based learning platform. I will give you an example, screen recorded Kahoot practice quiz in a mobile phone. Thank you. 
My students really enjoyed it, especially when there's a prize for the top three highest scores. They became competitive and it brought them the eagerness to learn, listen, and focus on our lesson. But what is Kahoot? That is the common question for some of you. Maybe some of you were already here about it, or maybe some of you already played this kind of game-based learning platform. You enjoyed playing it and wanted to create a quiz like Kahoot, but doesn't know how to create. Don't worry, that is one of our main objectives today. How to create a Kahoot quiz. But before that, to know more about Kahoot and its purpose, let's watch this video. Hi, we're Kahoot. We're on a mission to make learning awesome. Our game-based learning platform is used by millions of people all over the world. Teachers, students, company employees, and lifelong learners. Kahoot makes it easy to create fun learning games or trivia quizzes in minutes, anytime, anywhere. We call them Kahoots. It works for any subject, in any language, on any device. You can also discover and play existing games. There are millions of Kahoots in our library. Kahoot can be played in a live setting with questions on a big screen or on your mobile device where you see questions and answers on one screen. As well as in schools, Kahoot is played in companies, at events, and even parties to make learning awesome. Sign up today at kahoot.com. Let's play! And that is Hi, what Kahoot, we're Kahoot all about. We're on a Exciting, mission to make learning awesome. Our but before I talk about the steps in creating a Kahoot quiz, let's consider this picture. As we can see, there is an excitement scale. When we do our lesson plan, we want to target the excitement or the eagerness of our learners to learn. According to researches, the younger age learners have the shortest length of patience. So we, teachers, make sure that our class is not boring. And that is one of the purpose of using different learning platforms like this Kahoot quiz. So it means we, teachers, should upgrade our teaching strategies by learning and using different educational platforms. Especially today, we are living in a 21st century era. No one should be left behind. Let us pursue learning every day for the future of our children. Okay, here it is, our main objective for today, how to create a Kahoot quiz. But before I begin, I just want to remind you to take a screenshot for every steps so that you can do it in your free time. For step number one, just go to kahoot.com. You can use any browser from a computer or a mobile tablet or phone to access this site. Creating a Kahoot quiz is easy as ABC. It's just like creating a Facebook or a TikTok account. For step number two, sign up or log in. You can use your personal email account, but your DepEd account or Microsoft account to log in is better. If you use your DepEd account or Microsoft account, you will be given a free trial for premium or pro account in just a month. Please take note also that Kahoot account is free, but you only have limited resources, but it's enough to use it in your class. But if you want to fully access all the features, you need to upgrade your account with pay. Okay, for the step number three, choose your account type. Everyone can create their own account and play Kahoot quiz. Click the teacher button if you are a teacher. And your student can also create their own Kahoot quiz. For step number four, create your Kahoot quiz. Click the create button of the screen to begin creating.
After clicking the Create button, you will see this on your PC screen. This is where you put your questions and answers for a multiple choice question. Click the Add Question button if you want to add another question. You can also add a true or false type question. I have here a sample questionnaire from my Kahoot. Our lesson here is simple interest in my general mathematics class. Don't forget also to give the correct answer by clicking the circle on the right side of the choices. In the right side of the screen, you can see the time limit. You can change it according to the difficulty of the questions. Input questions and answer choices where questions have a 95 character limit. You can also upload questions via a spreadsheet using the quiz spreadsheet template. But how to get that spreadsheet? Just click the add question button, then you will see this on your PC screen. The purpose of this spreadsheet is to create uh, 10 to 20 item multiple choice quiz easier. Click import spreadsheet. After clicking import spreadsheet button, you will see this in your PC screen. Click download our template button to begin creating multiple choice questions in your own spreadsheet. After clicking the create button, so we have here an example of a spreadsheet, which is a Microsoft Excel file type. It is easier here to create a 10 to 20 item quiz. Indicate also the correct answer choice. You can have from one to all correct answers and also adjust time limits and toggle points on or off. You can also add an image or YouTube video to the question as a prompt. Save your spreadsheet, then click select file button to upload your finished spreadsheet. For step number five, Click Settings to change the Kahoot's title, description, cover image, language, and save to location. This step is also important to make it easier in searching your Kahoot quiz file. Once you're done adding all the questions, click the Save button. Click I'm done. Now you can edit, play, or share the Kahoot quiz. All right, I prepared here an, a sample Kahoot quiz, but answer it in your free time because we have only a limited time here. Just type this link in your browser and use the game pin 0578633337 to experience playing the Kahoot quiz. Enjoy and have fun. And that is the end of my topic. Thank you for listening and let me end with this quotation. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching by Lynn Pernil. Once again, thank you so much and God bless. Then you bad everyone.